Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of November 2021. And I'll uh, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a Oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. <clears throat> All right. The overall energy for the reading, the star. Um, clearly wanting something here. There's, it's like something is very clear for you in terms of what you want. There's some energies that are coming in to kind of disrupt you a little bit in that direction, but you're still at the end of, you know, kind of getting past these energies, you're still, okay, I still want this. So it's kind of coming in as a, almost like a test or a challenge for you, but it's still not deterring you from what it is that you're seeking or your goal in a particular situation. Starting off the reading, you get the Four of Pentacles crossed by the High Priestess. It's, um, I kind of get the sense that it's very hard for you at this time to hang on to your intuition, to listen to your intuition, um, because you're hanging on really, really tight to it. So that tells me that you're having a difficult time um, listening to it almost. In your focus here, the Nine of Swords, with this kind of energy, I'm not surprised because this is a almost like an anxious kind of energy, like you're always kind of, mm, what do I do about something? Or always in your feel, feeling like something is stressing you out. In your recent past, there you are standing in your power, in your strength, Ace of Cups. I kind of feel like this is tied up to the star, like something that you're after, your goal, basically in a particular situation. In the immediate future, the Knight of Wands, there's an energy that's coming your way. It's very similar to yours. Um, I, uh, I kind of see it coming your way because it could be you going towards something, but I kind of see it approaching you. We'll have to wait to clarify because I, I kind of feel it similar to yours, but almost like instigating things. I don't know. Uh, supporting this reading three of swords there's a little bit of pain here that you're experiencing and again with the nine of swords there yeah something feels challenging here for you um, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it conflict and it could be inner conflict it doesn't have to be I kind of get it that it's not inner though I don't know. I don't know. For the hopes and fears, the temperance card. <sighs> Having the patience to go through whatever it is that you're experiencing here. Overall, for this reading, I get, like in a bigger picture kind of thing, I get a good outcome. Um, the journey to this outcome, I feel like it's, it's rocky it's challenging a little bit for some reason. Um, the potential outcome, Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. So I don't know why, but um, let's clarify, let's see. Let me see the star. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's that independence. The desire for you right now is to step back into your power because you were there. Remember in the recent past, you were there. Uh, you're still there. You're just a little bit thrown off for some reason. So your current desire is showing up as, I got to do something to get me back to get me back to myself, basically. 
Uh, let's do let's do the high priestess. The tower, the knight of cups, the eight of swords. Mixed signals kind of thing I'm getting here. Um, it's like this shocking revelation. Somebody, somebody's opening up shockingly um, and you don't know how to take it. Now, I don't know what this opening up is. It could be somebody confessing that they have feelings for you and it's like, what the hell, what, what, what? Where you didn't expect to come from that place, this situation, or it could be that someone is just opening up. Uh, someone is just wanting to share and being vulnerable and being truthful and being completely transpa transparent about whatever. And that could be shocking as well. Um, but somebody is definitely coming from a place of love here. And it seems that it creates freaking confusion for whoever is on the side of receiving this. And that's where I feel like if this is you receiving this and you get all confused about it, that's where I feel like you're losing that touch with your own intuition about the situation. Because feeling stuck about, feeling confused about it is going to keep you stuck in your head. It's going to make you think, what did they mean when they said this and that and that? Um, what did, why did they have to tell me this? Why did, what? you know, all sorts of these things. Instead of just taking it as it is, somebody open, opening up and being truthful about something, there's that tendency to complicate it. And then intuition is out the window because there's the mind in there and that's it. Let's do the Nine of Swords in your focus. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. This could be a situation where both parties kind of ended it at some point and it's coming out as, hold on. Even though it's ended, doesn't mean that I don't have emotions, you know? Um, Because it does look like it's a it's a situation that may have ended at some point, um, and it does look like somebody's opening up here from the situation that clearly shows up as as done, um, but it's confusing the other person. Like what? So if they open up, does that mean that they want us to go back in this, or you know? So it creates a lot of confusion here. Um, let me do the Emperor. Knight of Wands, the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups. Wow, so many energies that are showing up right now as being um, almost hidden from you that were very clear for you just a minute ago, not a minute ago, but the recent past there. You were standing in your power, your intuition was dead on. Um, you were receiving all sorts of energies and knowing exactly how to deal with them. And it's all a place of alignment. And then we go into this side of the reading and it's like all over the place. What the hell happened here? You know? What happened? that you lost touch with yourself here. Let's do the Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords, the Star, the Temperance card. Okay. I know it's the same energy that you were seeking in the past, only in the past you were seeking it from a place of clarity. Right now you're showing up not in a place of clarity at all about it even confused like do i really want this what the hell is happening i don't know what i want it's the same freaking energy the same one your perspective has changed something happened something was brought to you as an energy that shifted everything around for you where you don't see it as clear anymore 
same energy. But I see this tower coming your way that kind of immediately placed you in your mind about it. And from that point on, your perspective completely changed about this whole situation, about even what it is that you want from this. Even though it's clear, it's shown up there as being clear. Knight of Wands, in the immediate future, you get the Magician, the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups. Something is coming back your way. Something is coming back. Something that was of the past, something that you thought you worked with, you put in the past, it is what it is, it's done. Mm -mm. It's coming back after quite some time here. It's coming back to, to, to bring this back together. Maybe that's the freaking what? Let's do the Three of Swords in the supportive energy, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. I feel like it was a lot for you to move on from whatever wants to come back here. I feel like it took a lot, a lot for you to move past this, to find your closure finally. Um, and when you do, bam, it comes back. So it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I can understand why these energies are created of what the hell just hit me here. Um, let's do the five of wands and the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the page of swords the seven of pentacles the two of wands you're in this energy up if this is going to work out it may need some time it may need some healing it may need all sorts of things but I don't see you necessarily willing to put in the time, the effort to fix this. Not now, you're not showing up in this energy right now. You are showing up in the potential of this energy, but at a later time, not right now. Right now, they're still kind of hanging on to whatever conflict is still at stake here between the two of you. Because you may have moved on. You may believe that, yeah, I, I'm done. Uh, but there's still some energies that are lingering around here that are not beneficial for this to work out at this point. You recognize the fact that it needs work. You're not ready to give it now. If you were to jump in it and be like, okay, let's try it now, I don't see you putting 100% in. For the Temperance, you get the Six of Cups, the Moon, the Six of Wands. Yeah, time. Time is needed here, definitely. And I feel like you're recognizing that. And it feels like if you were to give yourself this time for the situation to possibly work out, the results show up as being promising here. You know? Um, man. For the Ace of Pentacles and the potential outcome, you get the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Chariot. Mm. Even though time is required and you know that patience is required, especially on your side, man, you're rushing this. You're eager because I feel like you feel the energy of brand new, of something completely different, something beautiful, yes. So as I said, the potential of this working out is here, but in time. And you feel that energy, but you're lacking the patience to get there by the looks of it. Either you or the other person. Someone's like, ah, come on, come on, come on. We can, we can do this faster. And again, if you were to jump in this to try, I see you with the page of swords there. That's not much. That's, you know, maybe it's just the beginning of it. Maybe you will put in more effort. But I don't see you full-heartedly stepping into this to try to fix it right now. Just a little bit. From the distance, almost. So, let's see what the universe has. The Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. The potential for this to work out is showing up more and more. 
make sure you align with this energy of the potential and especially with the energy of how to get to this potential and how to make it happen and how to align with the flow of it you know not trying to rush it because you're lacking patience not pushing it beyond limits of waiting because you know we need time make sure you're in the flow of how this energy is coming in because the potential is definitely here it's really up to you to recognize the flow and to allow yourself time to figure out whatever the hell is happening here you know uh let's close it off with a oracle card from the spirit of the animals oracle some final words from this animal, the lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty, man, majesty, man, man whatever. Uh, you will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.